This is the Yuski Vision UVM Pro top mic for use with cameras and phones. And in this video, I'm going to test it out with the Insta360 ONE X2, the Insta360 ONE R, and the Sony ZV-1. So let's get straight to it. In the box, we have the mic itself, the shock mount mic suspension cradle, two cables, one for connection to a mobile phone, and one for connecting to a camera, and also the windshield. And all this fits nicely in the included bag to give a bit of added protection. The mic measures approximately 8.5 centimeters long by a maximum width of two centimeters and is a really solid build. And it has two mini jack connectors on the rear, one for connecting the mic itself and the other for connecting headphones so you can monitor the sound levels directly from the microphone. With some suspension cradles, when you put the mic in, the mic can flop forwards, which can cause all sorts of problems when you're using the camera. With this mic, however, it connects into the solid plastic suspension basket and is held firmly in place. The cradle then attaches to the camera using the cold shoe mount, and the convenient thing here is that it's plug and play, so there's no additional batteries on or off switches or settings to worry about. First, as a comparison, we look at the internal mics on the Insta360 ONE X2 and the Insta360 ONE R. Now, the internal mics with both of these cameras are usually okay in controlled environments and in controlled situations, but they do have a lot more room noise and they don't always sound as natural. This is an audio test with the Insta360 ONE R using the internal mic on the camera, and I'm stood about 60 centimeters away from the microphone, so about two feet. So I'm now recording on the Insta360 ONE X2 and the distance between me and the camera is exactly the same as it was with the ONE R. And this is recording on the internal mic of the ONE X2. So now let's compare this to the UVM Pro top mic. I've now mounted the UVM Pro on top of the camera and plugged it in using the Insta360 ONE R mic adapter. So this should be a good comparison under control conditions as to what the difference is between the internal mic and the top mic. I've now mounted the UVM Pro mic on top of the camera using the Ulanzi cage and the mic adapter. So how does this compare to the sound of the internal mic that we heard just a minute ago? There is a slight hiss on the audio of the ONE R, but I think this is down to the camera's internal processing rather than the microphone. So now let's look at the ZV-1. I'm now recording the same distance away from the camera, but I've swapped out the camera to the ZV-1 camera, and this is a comparison that we haven't done before. So I've now put the UVM Pro mic on top of the ZV-1 and the really good thing about using the ZV-1 with an external microphone is you've got manual control over the audio levels. We are doing a microphone test on this video but I think this camera out of all three cameras will be the best camera and give us the best results when it comes to plugging in an external microphone because we do have more control. And with the UVM Pro plugged in, it takes the sound to the next level and is really crisp and clear. The biggest failing of most camera mics is the ability to cope with wind noise across the camera and across the microphone. The UVM Pro comes with a really well made substantial windshield which has a snug fit foam inner covered with the classic looking wind muff or dead cap. I didn't want to wait around for a windy day so instead I've got my trusted fan for this next test. So let's start with the Insta360 ONE R and the Insta360 ONE X2 with the fan on maximum speed blowing towards the camera. So this is an audio test on the Insta360 ONE R with the internal camera mic and the fan is on maximum speed. I'm guessing the sound isn't going to be very good. This is an audio test with the Insta360 ONE X2 with the fan on maximum speed and I'm using the internal mic on the ONE X2. I'm now going to switch over to the UVM Pro top mic. I'm still recording on the ONE X2 but now I've put the UVM Pro top mic on with the windshield and that should help combat some of this wind noise that's being produced by the fan. So I've now switched over to the UVM Pro top mic but this time it's got the windshield on and I'm recording on the Insta360 ONE R using the mic adapter. The internal mics as expected with these cameras are pretty poor and the sound is very much unusable. With the windshield added to the UVM Pro you can now hear my voice a lot more clearly and the windshield's done a brilliant job at eliminating that horrible wind noise on the microphone. For some reason the results with the ZV-1 weren't very good and the ZV-1 camera didn't like the sound of the fan and created this very really weird noise. So this is still with the ZV-1, the fan is at full speed but I've now got the windshield over the microphone. The audio levels were set to manual and the audio wasn't clipping but there must be some noise reduction 
filter or something going on here, I'm not really sure, but if you've got any idea, please let me know in the comments. I think the UVM Pro gives us a much clearer, crisper, more natural sound, and the results speak for themselves. And in the fan test that we did, without that mic and the windshield, the sound would be unusable. I've put this playlist together for you, which includes other audio tests and setups for your 360 cameras. My name's Rich, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.